Hello there. Uh, we're going to do a little video today about uh, sets. And there are a couple of things that I want to talk to you about. Mostly, uh, I want to talk about unions and uh, intersections of two sets. But uh, kind of going along with all of that and supporting everything is the whole idea of the notation that we use to describe these different things. Okay, so first off, let's just talk about sets in general. And uh, as you probably know, a set is a group of elements. That's the word that we often use to describe the different things that are in a set. And most of the time in our math class, we'll be talking about um, sets of numbers, such as uh, this little set that I drew here, uh, one, two, and three. Now, a couple of things that are never quite stated explicitly enough, in my opinion, is that we always name a set with a capital letter. That's just the convention that people use. And so we'll say A equals the set 1, 2, 3. But the other thing that we use uh, when we're talking about a set are these things right here. All right, These are not parentheses. We don't use parentheses for sets or brackets. We use these things here. They are called braces. All right. So uh, that is a symbol that indicates a set of elements or a set of objects. Okay, so they're called braces. So, um, so don't forget that. Now, along with this, these uh, set notations here, is a statement such as this. You see the numbers 1, 2, and 3 in this set, and we could say then that uh, 2 is an element of A. You could say that about 1 or 3 also, but... 2 is an element, so this little symbol that's right in the middle between the 2 and the A is its actually the Greek letter epsilon, um, and it means is an element of that. Okay, so we'll be seeing that type of notation when we talk about sets. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about in terms of what the ways that we're going to combine sets is unions, all right? Uh, union basically just means you're going to add everything together in both sets, okay? So I'll give you an example of that. Uh, let's say we have um, one set we'll call A is equal to, uh, let's say, two, four, six, dot, 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 14, 16, all right? So the dot, dot, dot there, the, uh, the ellipses there in the middle of this uh, group of numbers right here, this means just continue in the same way, all right? Um, it's pretty intuitive, all right, what that means. Um, so that's, we use that a lot just to kind of, as a shorthand, uh, for sets to mean, so we don't have to list all the different numbers. So you can see that uh, set A is uh, even numbers between 2 and 16. Now let's say that we called set B, um, let's say B is this, B is, oh let's make it a little bit shorter, let's just say 1, 3, 5. That's set B. Okay, so the union of those two sets is uh, noted by this big capital letter U. It's not really the letter U, but it looks, sure, sure looks like a, the letter U. And that's what we uh, use to indicate uh, the two sets. So what I mean by that is if we said A union B, all right, and what does that give us if I join those two sets together? Well, that just is this. That would be uh, braces, all right? Uh, first, A was the even numbers, and B was odd numbers, so we'd have to say something like this. One, two, three, four, five. And then we would also uh, include, all, then it goes up from six, uh, then even numbers up to uh, 16. So six, eight, dot, 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 up to 16. All right, and so that's a way that we could describe the set uh, A union B. And, um, and so that's, there's some of the notation there for union. Union just means just means combine all the elements of the sets together. For example, here's another shorter example, I guess. 
if you took uh, one set called M6789, and then the elements of another set, N, 7, 9, 11, 13, uh, M union N would be the set 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 13. Notice that the elements uh, 7, which appears in both, and 9, which appear in both sets, you only write those once, okay? Um, you don't repeat them if they show up more than once. So that's, that's how union is, and it's really a pretty simple idea. The intersection of sets, on the other hand, is a little bit different, and it refers to the overlap or the common elements between two sets. Okay, just the common or shared or overlapping elements of two sets. And it could, like I said, could be more than two sets. So, for example, uh, if we had one set, um, let's say, uh, let's call it X, all right? X equals the set of, let's say, oh, let's try that again. That little brace didn't work out. They're hard to make sometimes. Uh, X equals, let's say, 5, 10, 15, 20. All right, and the set Y is equal to um, eight. I forgot my brace. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, the intersection of those two sets is only one element. Really, there's only one thing that is common to both of them. That's these. This guy right there. So you would say that X intersect y, and here's the symbol for intersection, looks like this. It's an upside down u. x intersect y, or the intersection of x and y, is just equal to a set with only one element in it. We still use the set notation, but we just put one number in it. It's just 10. That's the only thing that's common to both of those sets. So here's another example of intersection of two sets. If I had one set called H, and that's 3, 3 and a half, 4, 4 and a half, 5, and another set called G, which is 1, 2, and then 3, 4, 5, 6. So the integers from 1 through 6. The intersection of H intersect G right here, that would equal... Here's our set, our left brace, and then just the integers there. What numbers are shared? Well, just 3, 4, and 5. So that's the intersection. Okay. So uh, just to summarize here, as we're getting towards the end here, the uh, set notation uses braces. All right. Um, we have the union of two sets, which just means combine all elements in both sets. And remember, if there's any repeated elements, you only have to say them once. Uh, and we also have this thing called intersection of two sets. That's uh, where you only express the overlapping or shared elements between two sets. Okay, thanks for listening.